and the excavator goes. Here is a general overview of how mine blasting is done. Drill holes are bored into the rock using large drills. The holes can be from a few inches to several feet in diameter and tens of feet deep. They are drilled in a planned pattern throughout the area to be blasted. Explosives are then placed into each hole, along with detonators and delay fuses. The most common type of explosive used is ANTFO, ammonium nitrate fuel oil. Dynamite, slurries, or emulsions may also be used. The holes are plugged to confine the force of the blast. Stemming materials like gravel or drill cuttings are tamped into the top portion of the holes. A detonator cord connects all the explosives in the drill holes. It transmits the detonation signal to fire the explosives in a carefully timed sequence. This process is repeated in a sequenced progression through the mine levels until the desired depth and extent is reached. Careful blasting maximizes rock breakage while minimizing vibration, noise and fly rock. The main reasons mine blasting is preferred over mechanical excavation is that it's more cost effective, quicker, and can penetrate to greater depths. With proper controls and regulation, blasting is considered a relatively safe and efficient mining method. The alternatives generally cannot match the speed, depth, and cost effectiveness of blasting. In open pit mines, blasting also helps to create the steps and benches in the pit walls to access deeper layers. Controlled blasting creates a stable wall slope.
que no está hecha. Águila, ya, ahí está, está pegada. Sí. But the dynamite goes. <laughs> 